The NFL Draft is done and over, and I am going to be breaking down each and every team and grading out their draft. So check back every day because one team I will do every single day, and I'll have it up here on YouTube for you to watch. We'll go over every prospect that they drafted as well as some key undrafted free agents that they may bring in. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section, and I'll be sure to address them for you. Also, just be aware of my draft grades. No one fails the draft, especially right after it. Even no one in this draft is going to get a D or an F from me because they, everyone had a talent. Everyone did something. So if you think the grades are a little bit high, that's just me not going to too much extremes. And maybe in three or four years, when we look back on this draft, then we can see who really succeeded and who really failed. So sit back, relax, enjoy me as I break down every single team this year. Draft expert Shane Hallam shows off his knowledge. Writing mock drafts, prospects from the best college. Breaking down tape, he might develop a man crush. Tearing up guys, taking questions in a rush. Comparisons, learning lessons. Shane saves the day, oy vey. Hulk or banner, doesn't matter. Listen, cause here's who can play. Hey everyone, back again today to grade the New York Jets and their NFL draft. And the general manager, Tenenbaum, he's basically had one big philosophy in the draft. And that's quality over quantity. He's not afraid to trade up, get some players, and use his picks on very good players early in the draft and when he wants them comes away maybe four or five players but usually they're solid contributors that can start day one or at least be in a rotation from day one this draft was no different first round pick to kyle wilson quarterback out of boise state he fell a little bit jets really liked him picked him as a solid nickel corner to start from day one they traded for antonio cromartie but one thing rex ryan always did even in baltimore he's trying to always get good cornerbacks even if you have them you can never have enough because you know, especially today, you're going to have three, four, sometimes even five guys from the secondary on the field, and most of them are going to be corners. So Kyle Wilson gives him another element. You already have Daryl Revis. You have Revis Island out there, and he's going to put a guy, and he's going to cover him really well. Antonio Camardi, high upside. I think he's going to work well in this system. Adding Kyle Wilson, going to be tough to pass on the Jets this year. Going to be very difficult. In the second round, they took Vlad Dukas, offensive lineman out of UMass, guy that's probably going to be a guard tackle tweener. With the release of Alan Fanica, the door is open for him to start day one at left guard. He's a really big guy at Massachusetts, but very athletic. A little bit raw still in terms of football skills. But if he would have went probably to any other school, he could have been a late first round pick. Should go to a small school, sometimes there's competition questions. But he looked good in the all-star games, looked like he's going to adjust, takes coaching well. Very intelligent kid as well. I think he's going to do really well in the system. In the fourth, they took Joe McKnight, running back out of USC. After trading away Leon Washington, now they're going to replace him with Joe McKnight. Got the Cameron rookie mid camps a little bit out of shape, but he's the type of player the Jets want to have just in case. They have Sean Green, they have the veteran in LT. Well, let's get kind of a jack of all trades, a Reggie Bush light, and Joe McKnight. And I think Joe McKnight is going to do pretty well in that system. I'm not a huge fan of his, but I understand the pick. And I think if there's a system where he can work, him and Sean Green will complement each other well. I think he can learn a lot from LaDainian Tomlinson his first and second year. So I, I like that pick. I'm fine with that one. Then in the fifth, they took John Connor, fullback out of Kentucky. And John Connor, top fullback on my board, and he's a pure run blocker. So they are building this run game. You know, they, they traded for their weapons. They traded for Braylon Edwards. They traded for Santonio Holmes. Now they're getting the run game going. So Mark Sanchez is going to have all his tools in place. He's going to have that run game, going to have that offensive line, going to have his weapons. They're not going to ask him to do a lot. Let's ride behind LT, Sean Green, and we'll let you make those plays. So that was their draft, and that was it. And personally, looking at this draft, I think three of these guys can start from day one. Wilson, DeCoss, Connor. I think Joe McKnight's going to have a role from day one. So you bring in these four players. And they're all going to make an instant impact. Uh, I give it an A-, and it's one, one of my better grades. The reason for the minus is I still think there's more that could have been added, even in the late rounds. I think Rex Ryan could have found himself a pass rusher. I think he's good at evaluating pass rushers. It is something else that they need. So 
especially with Vernon Golston on the flux, I really think that that would have been a good position to look at early in this draft. But cornerback was also there, was a need. Kyle Wilson fell, they took him. I like that pick. Looking at their undrafted free agents, they got a couple good ones. Donovan Warren, cornerback out of Michigan, a guy I thought it's at one point could be first round pick. You got to watch a little bit more of him in some different situations. Just looked a little bit slow. Guy that it looks like they're going to move him over to free safety and try him out there. But I like his natural talent. I think he's got it. He just needs to put it together. And if there's a coach that can get that out of him, it's the New York Jets. That's a team with coaches that can get that out of him. Also, Kevin Baspid, who's who is that pass rusher at Nevada. This is a guy that has the production. He has the size and the physical ability. He's kind of like Vernon Golston in a way, but you get him as an undrafted free agent, so you can work with this upside. Wouldn't be surprised if he makes the team maybe maybe a little praxis squad, taxi squad guy that you can develop a little bit, get his abilities to shine through, and make sure that he has those technique issues down pat. That's a big question with him. So I like those two signings. Overall, for me, there's not too much else to say. I like the Jets draft. I think they're continuing to get better. I don't think this is the year for them. I think Mark Sanchez has to still get into his own. But this is a team in, I'd say, two or three years is going to be a Super Bowl contender. I think they found a good coach. I think they have a good offense. I think they have a good defense. They're really developing well. And you got to like what the Jets are doing. You have to love their draft last year. You have to really like their draft this year. And I really like the strategy they have going into these drafts. They are going to, they're being successful. And that's all you can ask for. Sometimes maybe they don't get world beaters. Maybe they don't get Hall of Fame players. But if each of these guys contributes to their team, it's going to get them better. Already in the AFC Championship game last year with a rookie quarterback, sky's the limit for this team. So tough division. I think the Dolphins did well. I think the Patriots did well. It's going to be a three-way race, and all three of these teams could be in the playoffs. So that's all for now. Tomorrow, going to bring you the Oakland Raiders, a little Friday night action with the Oakland Raiders. Have they done a better draft? Find out tomorrow. And look down in the comments section. Let me know. What you think of this draft? Is it an A minus draft? Is it an A draft? Or do you think that I'm overrating them a little bit? Thank you guys for watching as always. Hope you're enjoying the grades. I really appreciate the positive comments you've sent my way. And I'm going to keep it going. And once we're done with the grades, then we're going to be right into 2011, baby. Thanks, guys. I'll see you.